Hi, I'm David Dusek, senior writer with Golf Week, golfweek.com, as well as USA Today Sports. And I'm joined by Tomo Bysbet, who's the senior director of product creation for TaylorMade. And we've got a couple of the stealth drivers in our hands right now. And while these are new for 2022, Tomo, there's been a lot of work for a long time going into these drivers. Tell us about stealth. Well, Stealth has been in, in works for a long, long time, like you said. And actually, we started some of the face technology 20 plus years ago. Wow. That's how long we've been working on this. So really exciting stuff. Obviously, packed with technology across the whole club head. And there's a million things we talk about. But obviously, the big story is the face. And yeah. that's really where the work has gone into. And that's what's going to be the difference maker in terms of performance on these products. So this face is unlike pretty much any face that probably any of our viewers, any golfers around here, certainly in North America, have tried before. Tell me what makes this, aside from just the fact that it's red, and we'll get to red in a second, what makes this face different than everything else out there? So this is a carbon face made of carbon fiber, uh, and it's actually 60 layers of carbon, six zero layers of carbon fiber. So an incredible engineering feat to get that many layers in, keep the face flexible to get, deliver that ball speed, uh, but most importantly, create a lighter face than what we've had in the past with metal faces. And that's really what the evolution has been from metal woods to carbon woods in this product. And the benefits here is gonna be that better energy transfer, which ultimately gets you more ball speed. And that's obviously what golfers are gonna love and enjoy with this product. So by going with carbon fiber, you're saving a lot of weight in the face. You've been talking about that in titanium, for a long time, how much less weight is being used in a face when you're going with carbon fiber as opposed to what titanium would have been in here? Great question. So in the face itself, if we took the same size face and replaced this with a tie face, yep. uh, it would be about 17 grams heavier uh, than what we currently have. So this is a, uh, currently a 26 gram face in here. It would be about 43 grams if this was a titanium face. And so that mass is what is the difference is between how to deliver that extra ball speed in terms of that energy transfer. So essentially, it's a conservation of momentum type of story here. That's essentially what the secret is to creating the better ball speed in this driver. Now, over the top of the carbon fiber, you're not actually hitting the carbon fiber here. You've gone through some other processes to try and get better performance out of this face. Explain to me a little bit about what, what's there. Absolutely. So carbon fiber in itself is, is you know, it's a very smooth material. Okay. It's, it's, ve it's very um, sort of slick in, in terms of the appearance and, and the finish of it. And that pr presents a problem for golf ball collisions and creating the right spin and launch conditions okay. for the driver. So we knew pretty early on that in order to prevent uh, sort of a loss of spin in the wet and too much dry spin, we had to do two things to this face. First of all, we had to put score lines on it okay. and that channels away the water. So you'll see score lines all the way across the face. And then the second part is create additional friction with the ball in this area between the grooves and that's called a nano texture. It's an extremely fine texture here. It's only a few microns high, these bumps, mm -hmm. but that's enough texture to, to give a little bit more grip on the ball that it again, produces that lower spin off the driver. All of this is created in a material, it's a polyurethane material, very similar formulation to a urethane golf ball okay. cover. Um, but that also protects the carbon face that's underneath here from, from impact and debris and things like that might, that might be on your ball. Now, I can tell you, I've had a chance to hit this and I think that if it were chrome or silver in color, people would have no idea that it wasn't a titanium or some kind of a metal face. How did you get it so that it sounds like what people would perceive or think a driver should sound like? Well, part of it is, is just the nature of how fast this face is. So obviously when you get a, a face that's fast and flexible, just like other tie faces that are fast and flexible, they vibrate on impact. Okay. And that creates vibrations in the head that then creates that sounds that we hear when we hit the ball. Now, within that sound, there, there can be bad and good sounds. Sure. But you don't want it to sound dead. You don't want it to have no sound. And that's really been the problem with some of these carbon clubs that have been around in the past is that they had no face flexibility, so there was no vibration and there was no sound being created. So we want to create the right frequencies, and that's where all this other geometry, uh, geometry in the head and some of the internal ribs come into play, that we can really tune that and dial that in perfectly. Okay. Now, if we go into the sole, um, for example, we've got the Stealth Plus right here. We can see that the movable weight is back. There's a large speed pocket here. These are sort of tried and true tailor-made technologies, but walk people through exactly what these do for people. Absolutely, yeah. So all these other technologies are, are, are super important in the performance of the club. So starting with the speed pocket, this is a through slot speed pocket. So it's a, it's a channel into the head, which creates this incredible low face flexibility. So again, we're, what we're trying to essentially do here is we're trying to create more flexibility over as much of the face as possible. And typically the bottom is kind of a rigid portion. Yeah. And so we're trying to uh, free up the flexibility there. So if you hit it low in the face, that you still get some of that speed in the face. Okay. Uh, the next part is obviously, as you can see here, the track. We made it a little bit longer than we've had in earlier versions. Mm -hmm. 10 gram weight in here that you can slide heel toe. Again, for more fade bias to draw bias. And the amount of that depends on the player a little bit, but we typically see sort of five to 10 yards sort of uh, either way. Uh, with this weight. Now we also have some of the geometry. I'm looking at the bottom and I can see remnants of SIM and SIM2 in this sort of back flange part here. There's also a really big carbon fiber crown right here. 
What's interesting to me is everything is black yeah. up on the top. That's a, mm-hmm. you know, a departure from what TaylorMade has done. What made you guys go into the decision of, of black on the top? Yeah, so the black on the top is really, I mean, again, ultimately what you want to do is you want to make a golf club that golfers want to play, that they like looking at, mm-hmm. and that gives them confidence to hit a good shot. And so in the past, what we've done is we've had the chalk paint or the white or the uh, silver paint up yeah. front to contrast with the face. And that gives the golfer that ability to really see where they're pointing and gives them a little bit more confidence to hit an accurate shot uh, in the place that they're aiming. Now, because we have the red face and we have graphics on the face, we're already creating that contrast with the top line, so we don't need a lighter paint. So our goal here was to create as clean and as an obtrusive look as possible, knowing that the golfer's eye is going to focus on, on the face. And that's where we want him to focus and really make sure that, that, that the golfer sees sort of the, the correct alignment of the face and so gives him confidence at a good shot. So on the top of the rest of it, we wanted to keep it as clean as possible. We, we obviously have a satin paint up here. Um, the satin paint has been really popular in the last couple of generations, both in the SIM drivers and even M5, M6 with the reduced glare that we get. A lot of golfers give us feedback that they like the fact that when they're in a sunny day that it doesn't shine right back at your face and you do get a little more of a diffused lighting situation there. So real quick, I know there are a couple other versions of Stealth. Explain to me or walk me through the other versions of the Stealth, not just the Stealth Plus. Yeah, so the Stealth Plus obviously has your movable weight um, and the in the other model, the Stealth model, so the Stealth Core model, so the center one, mm-hmm. that one has no movable weight track and we take that weight out of here and we actually position it low and back in the head. So that's creating a, additional forgiveness for the player. Higher MOI in this case. Higher MOI in this case yeah. and a little bit more spin. So the di- spin difference between the Plus and that Core Stealth model is gonna be about 250 RPMs. Okay. Then we also have a high draw model. It's called the Stealth HD. And that product is basically, is we've taken this entire inertia generator feature. This is again from Sim technology. Yep. We've taken this asymmetric thing and we actually shifted it towards the whole thing towards the heel yeah. uh, so that it has a little bit more heel uh, bias CG. And we're still keeping the weight at the back, keeping the high MOI from the Stealth Core model, but now it's gonna come with a little bit more draw bias. And we're also, have actually a slightly different shape of the face outline here where the, it's flaring a bit more open so we can actually set the face angle a bit more closed. So without visibly closing the club to the customer or the golfer, we're actually able to create that draw bias. Getting the draw bias, yeah. excellent. So to me, one of the interesting things, Tomo, about this driver is obviously the color of the face. It's yeah. not just the fact that there's carbon fiber in the face rather than titanium. You could have made this any color you wanted. It's gonna show up great on TV when people are watching mm-hmm. players like Rory McIlroy and Dustin Johnson. You're gonna know that they've got a stealth driver in there, right. but, but why red? So it, really a few different reasons, uh, David. We basically uh, wanted a color that obviously was gonna grab people's attention yep. and, and stand out, whether it's at retail or on TV or anywhere else. Uh, but we also have a, you know, a desire to create a contrast with the top line. So if our color was too dark, mm-hmm. it, we, we would lose that contrast on the top. Okay. So we didn't wanna go too dark. Also likewise, a too light a face, uh, we felt like it was too contrasty. So it was, it was about finding the right tone. And within that we felt, hey, red, uh, has a connotation of power and speed and energy, and we yep. felt like that was a good good connection. We also found that the red is is uh, very resistant to marks compared to other colors. That's good. Uh, so, for example, yellow or green, uh, potentially like you know sharpie marks or ball marks that you're in the range. These are, the red is actually hiding it a little bit better too. So, mm-hmm. a lot of reasons to do red. Uh, we did a surprising amount of research on this color and the pattern. Uh, we we probably did hundreds of different patterns over the years. Yeah. Uh, and really, what we ended up with, I think. We, we love how it looks and we love how it performs. Well, I can tell you, it's really interesting when you look down in the address position, you don't, your eye doesn't catch red, but you definitely, you know, in the, in the center here, you can frame the ball very easily. It's something that I think a lot of people, when they see this club, are gonna be like, oh, red face, it's this jarring thing, and it's not. It's I mean, not. Your, your eye catches mostly this black, matte black carbon fiber crown. There's a sliver of red, but when you're looking at the ball, it's not like something that screams out of there. there there's a lot of science I bet that went into this. Yeah, absolutely. And, and and really this like just slightly darker area of black here, again, is really designed to frame the ball when you're looking down at it. We're mm-hmm. not we don't want to put a lot, bunch of alignment aids here, but we do want to have when you look at the ball in the club next to it, you should feel like I know where to hit it on the yeah. face. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That's really interesting stuff. And if you're gonna be in the market for a new driver in 2022, you might want to talk to a good custom fitter about the new tailor-made stealth family of drivers.